Hello and welcome to day 53 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today is all about manifestation. Hello and welcome to day 53 of the Mindfulness Challenge. I hope you're doing well today. My government on Friday have said that we're in for another three weeks, so that allows me more time <laughs> to put together even more mindfulness um, <laughs> meditations and challenges. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, I've had a bit of a setback, actually. I was in hospital this morning. Some of you may know I got a dodgy right knee and I'm waiting for an operation. Unfortunately, it gave way on Saturday and uh, was in a lot of pain. Um, but uh, so decided to go to the hospital today and basically... I understand they can't do anything because it's not an essential or urgent operation. So I have to wait for the coronavirus. So acceptance is the key to all of that. But that's not to say that I'm not sat here on painkillers with a very sore knee. But I'm here because I, I, I committed to 100 days of mindfulness challenge. Today's about manifestation. Today's about how we can... Um, manifest and allow us ourselves to amplify our attraction of power our attracting of this manifestation and how we can align ourselves with the energy of the universe to allow us to manifest the changes in our lives that we would like this is quite a long meditation it's about 15 minutes long and it's about us just sitting quiet in a space but making yourself completely comfortable as we always do but allowing us really to try and ma learn and understand the ability to manifest things within every one of us and it takes time to learn some of these very simple manifestation techniques i have a course at the moment which is psychic mediumship mindfulness and manifestation and there's no um, doubt to me that the ability to work with the mind and in particular work with karma and positive thoughts and all of the areas of mindfulness i believe that there is an opportunity um to completely rewire our mind that we talked about through uh, manifestation which will allow us to make some subtle changes to live the life that we want to but also the ability for us through meditation to really become in sync with the universal power of manifestation the universal power of karma as well being able to you know give loving kindness to everybody and that brings loving kindness back to ourselves so there's a great opportunity to use mindfulness and manifestation through meditation there's a lot of m's in there but for us to be able to do that successfully so we're going to get straight into it because it's quite a long meditation and and just sit back and enjoy it no expectation and just allow everything to wash over you so as always at this moment i'm going to bring in a picture okay and i want you now just to as we always do uh, allow time to access our breath allow our breath um, to be with us and be with your breath because it's been with you ever since the moment you were born and every day it's been there just keeping you alive so by honoring our breath we're ready to set intentions that creates a very powerful experience with your eyes closed you begin by setting the intention to manifest these changes you desire and say to yourself right now right at the beginning I can manifest the changes that I desire. I can manifest the changes that I desire. And let's honour our breath now by taking five very significant and dedicated breaths. Breathe in one. Fully inhale, expanding your belly and chest as much as you can. Hold it for a moment, pause it for three seconds and then just exhale. And as you do, you feel a wave of relaxation sweeping all over you. Two, inhale again, fill in the entire breathing system with fresh oxygen. Just hold it there a second and exhale, noticing again that wave of relaxation gently sweeping all over you. And three, inhale again so deeply that you're now brimming with this beautiful air, this beautiful oxygen. And taking a moment at the top there just to feel this soaking of life force we call oxygen in our bodies. And when you exhale, you're noticing your body becoming relaxing in many areas without any effort. It's just a wonderful feeling. And four, again, fully inhaling this life force, feeling these breaths purifying your entire body. And when you exhale now, trying to do nothing at all, simply notice how you're feeling, being in the moment. 
and five. Last one, a full and beautiful breath coming in. Hold it, feeling the goodness of this simple task. And as you exhale again, allowing this beautiful wave of relaxation to sweep over you. Now just take a, take a note of how you're feeling at this moment. Now you have an abundance of oxygen in your system. This is how we were truly created to feel. Breathing deeply and fully is an expression of self-compassion. It unites us with the universal love. Let your breath be natural now and notice already how abundance feels. This is your new tool and we want you to use it in a way where you're ready to manifest the reality that you desire. And when you're feeling any kind of lack of motivation or negative inner talk, you immediately pause and take five deep, purposeful and powerful breaths. And these breaths allow us or allow you to relax. Taking these conscious and dedicated breaths gives you the clarity and amplifies your well-being and your health. So the next time you catch yourself at a standstill, you must just take these five healing breaths. Manifesting is easy when you know how to do it and what the recipe is. All you need is three things, desire, dedication, and trust. And desire is the first ingredient in manifestation. You must know what you want and desire it so greatly that you can clearly see any path you need to take it will get you there. Knowing exactly what you're manifesting is very important and the more details you can add to your desire, the better. You can write down your aspirations and goals and you can set an exact time that it'll be accomplished. And when you set an exact date as to when your goals will be met and write it down, the order is firmly given to your subconscious mind and now it's taking action. Take a moment to think about your dreams and aspirations and as many details as possible. Dedication is the second ingredient in manifestation. Only you can put in the effort to take steps towards your desires, network with others and motivate yourself to practice this med meditation technique every day. You must dedicate time every single day to something that takes you closer to gaining what you seek. And only you can do this. No one else can be dedicated for you. Manifestation starts with you. Just notice how you feel when you start to think about the desire and dedication. And the last ingredient for manifestation is trust. This is the easiest part because you just simply let go. You let go and you trust. You completely let go of thinking too hard about the things you have to do to bring it together and have confidence that things always fall into place perfectly. You must know with certainty that your goal is attainable. So have faith. Take a few moments now to really trust in your desires becoming reality. Trust in the power of the universe. And just notice how you're feeling right now. And just say to yourself, I know I can achieve my aspirations. I deeply believe in myself. I see clearly how my goals and aspirations are attained. I have a great desire to manifest my aspirations and I put in daily dedication that is required of me. I always believe in myself. I trust the loving energy of the universe. And we know visualizing is also an extremely powerful way to manifest. 
So imagine right now that you've attained all that you desire. See yourself very vividly in your mind, having already achieved your goals. Visualize with great detail. Visualize yourself with all of your intentions fulfilled. Notice what you look like and who you're talking to. The more details you can add, the better. See the surroundings such as where are you, places to go, who's around you. And take several moments to vividly see yourself having manifest all that you wish. This is truly changing your life for the better. So remember, honour your breath every single day by taking a moment to fully breathe in and to breathe out several times. When you deeply breathe in, you automatically relax. And being relaxed is the first step in being in control of your life and your emotions. And take these three words and remember them throughout your day. Desire, dedication and trust. And just repeat them to yourself whenever you can. And as we just before we take another deep breath, I want us just to breathe in. Just hold it for a second and breathe out. And as we breathe out, I want you to offer health abundance to all of those people that you know and all of those people in the world. Breathing in, offer abundance for all people to live a happy, spiritual, balanced life with clarity and purpose. Just breathe in again and offer that unconditional love to the world, to your friends, to your family, to people you don't get on with. Just breathing in and just sending love out to all of those people in your mind. Helping them, healing them, giving them the energy they need today to get through what they need to do. And by doing this, we truly know that the karma, the universal power that we talk about, that we work with, will be there for you. To know that your desire, dedication and trust will allow you to manifest whatever you want with abundance, with love, with health and with care. Take a deep breath in and slowly wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. You see, some people think manifestation or using that is a bit selfish, you know, and you can do what you want. Karma is a wonderful thing. I've never, ever asked to manifest money. I've all, money has always been a byproduct of everything I do. My first goal was to set out to help people, to work with people, to give people experiences, to make them happy. And that was through sport. Now, I'm here, you know myself, I'm here. My goal is to help you help yourself live a happy, healthy, balanced, spiritual life with clarity and purpose. And that's my goal every single morning I wake up. That's why I have my to-do lists every day to try and get through the emails, to try and work on my Udemy, to try and give you content that will help you through your day, for you to manifest and for you to be your best self. It's a journey, not a destination. We're all trying to get there. And we have setbacks. I was actually thinking, sat in hospital today, I hope you don't admit me, because I don't know how I'm going to do day 53 of the mindfulness challenge. But, again, I trust. And I trust that I would be able to do this video for you today. And then I can do this video for you tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day forth. So, be kind to yourself. Morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. And I'm now going to be able to manifest my best self with desire, dedication, trust, and importantly, love. Love for you and love for all those around you. Have a lovely day on day 53. God bless. Be love and give love. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.